Hello, welcome back. I am Joe and I'm a drum teacher. And today I'm going to explain how to play taps. Now, in a couple of previous videos, I've explained uh, how to hold a pair of drumsticks and how to play some basic strokes using what's generally known as a full stroke or a rebound stroke, where we allow our hands to get used to following the sticks as they bounce off the drum, like so. And these are very large, big strokes. You're not going to play the drums like that all the time, but for me, it's the best way to get your hands used to uh, holding the sticks in a relaxed way and getting just a nice, comfortable relationship with the rebound of the stick. So uh, hopefully you've practiced how to play the rebound strokes and got really good at it. Uh, and this is the next stage. So if you haven't had a chance to do that yet, uh, find my older videos about the rebounds, uh, the full strokes, how to hold a stick and so on. I'll link to it somewhere up there, down there, wherever. Um, but look at those videos first before doing this stuff, right? Um, so I'm going to show you taps today, and taps are small, quiet strokes that are played a few centimetres above the centre of the drum, like so. You'll notice there's a bit of bounce in the stick, and I'm holding the stick very relaxed. Okay, so those are taps. Now, I'm just going to uh, remind you what we were learning about holding the sticks because the same principles apply when we're doing the taps. Let's see if I can put these here without them falling off. Yes, jolly good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just relax the arms down by the side and then we're going to bring our forearms up in front of us like so, so that the forearms are parallel to the floor and also parallel to each other. My hands are roughly elbows width apart when I'm doing this. Okay, and just to remind you, I'm, I teach beginners a German grip to start with, which means that we're holding the stick from above with the hands on top of the sticks. Uh, the thumbnails are kind of looking at each other and the back of my hands is facing the ceiling, okay? That means we can use this movement up and down of the hands to propel the sticks, I guess. They're the engine, like that, okay? Uh, another grip is French grip, where we would cradle the sticks like this, but I'm not dealing with that at the moment, I'm dealing with German grip, which works this way. Obviously, there's traditional grip as well. Um, I'm not dealing with that either, but just German grip today. So, we've got our hands in this position, right? And then we're going to grab the sticks. And I always recommend people start off with the sticks between the thumb and index finger. Okay, and then we're going to wrap the other three fingers around the sticks like so. Okay, I'm holding the, the stick about a third of the way up. Uh, now, next thing, I'm going to reposition my hands in the same place that I had them when I didn't have any sticks. So my hands are about elbows width apart, and my forearms are parallel with the floor and kind of parallel with each other, okay? And that creates this kind of triangle or A shape with my sticks, and then I introduce my sticks to the pad, or if you're playing a drum, and my sticks are pointing at the center of the pad. And we want to get used to sitting like this, so uh, I happen to be standing up right now, but if you're sitting at a drum set, try and position yourself so that the um, distance between the stool and the snare drum allows you to uh, assume this position, right? Uh, keep sure that your shoulders are nice and relaxed, uh, and nothing really is doing very much work apart from your hands while we start doing this, okay? Now, the last part of the equation is to become aware that my middle finger is the pivot of the stick. The weight of the stick is shifting over my middle finger and my index finger, uh, sorry, not my index finger, my ring finger and my pinky are just gently tracking the movement of the stick as it goes. Okay, now when I'm playing a tap, what I'm trying to do is hold the stick uh, just above my pad like so. I'm going to tap the drum by moving my hand forward and pulling the stick back up again. Okay, now as much as we can, and this applies when we're practicing this and focusing carefully on getting these movements right, you might not be able to think about this, or, nor should you necessarily, when you're playing your drum kit, when you're playing some songs, but while you're practicing your stick technique, um, you're going to try and get the stick to go down and up again. And you'll find in most cases, uh, people trying to do this will tend to kind of cock the stick back a little bit, and then throw it down. So you get this kind of movement, yeah, with this preparatory lifting of the stick. But we're going to try and avoid doing that when we're learning how to play taps, okay? And it's quite difficult to eliminate altogether. I haven't, can't say I've mastered being able to do that entirely perfectly, 
but I'm just trying my best to tap the pad and just pull the stick back up again. Okay, when we're playing from a very low height, obviously there's not enough um, energy in the stick for it to bounce back on its own. So my hand needs to help the stick. The movement I'm doing is basically this. Okay, but it's nice and relaxed, it's easy. Okay, it, you might find sometimes that when you're concentrating on uh, a little detailed movement like this, that your hands kind of tense up. When we're focusing hard, there's a tendency for the muscles to tense up. Just try to be aware of that, and if you notice any tension, stop what you're doing, or try to just relax a little bit by thinking about relaxing the area that's tensed up. Yeah, so areas of tension might be, the shoulders might tend to hunch up when you're doing this. I can feel sometimes a bit of tension in my shoulders. And also in the forearm around here, I get sometimes some muscle tension. You might get some tension in your, your hand itself as well. So we just want to be aware of that. And just very, very slowly, you notice I'm doing this slowly and carefully, practice doing some taps. And the movement of the stick, just a few centimeters from the pad, okay? And then with your other hand, I recommend starting with your dominant hand and then the weaker hand can try and imitate. Okay, those are the taps. Now, spend some time doing this and once you feel comfortable with it, you can try and do the exercises that I showed you in the uh, original video where I show the rebound strokes, the, the full stroke exercise, right? That means we play just the rebounds exercise eight to a hand, which would be this, one and two and three, four and, one and two, three and four and, one and two and three, four and, one and two and three and four and. Okay, that's a rebounds exercise. Count out loud when you're doing it. One and two. And try and get the most even sounding strokes you can. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Watch out for tension. Four and one and two, three and four and. Okay, so that's what I call the rebounds exercise. Then we have single strokes, which is just right, left, right, left. Right, left, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. Then we've got doubles, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. And then finally, paradiddles, single paradiddle. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And notice I'm letting my sticks get a little bit high, so I'm going to just adjust. Left, right, left, 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 right, right, left. Try and keep the strokes as even as possible. Right, and see how the stick kind of springs over your middle finger. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Left, right, right, left, right, left, left, done, okay? So those are taps. And between the full stroke and the taps, there's a big dynamic difference. The full strokes are very loud and taps are very soft, and we'll learn how to uh, bridge the gap between those as well. But these are two preliminary um, exercises and, and ways of, of learning how to relate to your drumsticks when you're starting out. Okay, so uh, very patiently I would practice doing these. Uh, you can, there's a lot more uh, exercises you could do than just the rebounds, uh, singles, doubles, and paradiddles, but just as a sort of starting point, it's a good uh, place to start. Uh, if you haven't been practicing your instrument for a long time, I would recommend starting in very small chunks. So again, take those exercises um, and play each one for two minutes and try and do that every single day and get into the routine of doing that before you try and do more. Okay, uh, if you've, as I say, been practicing the rebounds exercises, the, the full stroke stuff, uh, you could do those two minutes each, two minutes rebounds, singles, doubles, and the single paradiddle, and then do the taps, again, two minutes each. Um, gives you a little bit of stuff to practice, try and get into doing that 
every day and your hands will start to develop nicely their relationship with the drumsticks and the way the sticks strike the drums and bounce back again. I uh, hope you found that useful. Um, please subscribe, uh, click the like button and all this stuff. And if there's anything you'd like me to make a video about, uh, I'm particularly at the moment trying to do stuff that will help people who are just starting out with the drums and would like uh, sort of a reasonable um, basis in, in you know, the foundations of our techniques. Um, so, but if there's anything you're interested in, please comment and let me know and I'll see if I can accommodate in due course. Thank you very much for watching this and see you in the next video.